almost started doing this without it being recorded. I mean, it's been a while since I've done that, so I guess I'm due. <sighs> That's how I feel going into this Friday, even though it hasn't happened yet. But assuming I do everything I was going to today, it had been a uh, very productive Thursday. So I've got my new metal straw with my coffee, and we're going to daily challenge it. Uh, this might just be mostly me not talking so much about what I'm seeing on the screen. So if that is not the type of video you like to see, my apologies. But that's what this video is probably going to be. Um, yeah, busy week. It's looking to be very nice outside. Um, probably like the first real nice weekend in a very long time. I am... I've decided I am going to hike. I haven't actually done a mountain hike since either very early March or late February. Been a minute because of the whole, uh, I'm going to, I saw that was in French, so I'm going to probably click around here, maybe in Switzerland and, uh, go from there. But it was, uh, looking at the weather for the weekend looks amazing. That's a pretty house. And I uh, made a decision, yeah, I'm going to uh, do a nice hike. 70 degrees on Saturday. It's looking very pleasant. I mean, it did finally hit me when I was looking at the weather for the rest of the week and upcoming that it's, you know, 60s and 70s. I'm like, oh, that's a palm tree. No, I'm still sticking with Switzerland, France. Um that oh yeah it's the end of may it's almost june which means it's almost summertime so yeah temperatures are going to start getting up there acs will be have will have to be installed soon golf will be happening soon we've i've already made plans since my second shot for the vaccine is well it's going to be tuesday now at this point when this goes up i'm not seeing any like country things here but golf will be in the beginning of next month. And uh, I don't want to say it's back to normal, but, you know, it's, it's getting there. I uh, can't wait. I am a little worried, though, mainly because when I went to um, the driving range a couple of weeks ago, and I think back to the last time I actually uh, like hurt my back. It wasn't that far after I went to the driving range to practice, and I'm a little worried that my golf swing may have had some something to do with back because when I think I didn't golf at all last year except for a couple of times at the driving range, but well, we were on the other mountain range down there. But when I think about it, um, golfing's the other times that I've actually hurt my back, and I'm wondering, <clears throat> do I need to change how I swing? And I hope I don't, because my muscle memory is thankfully locked up to the point where when I swing my irons, it's there. it goes where I want to. I mean, maybe not as far, but it's straight, and that's way more important. But I need further testing involved. Meanwhile, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Quebec. <laughs> Meanwhile, I did apply for a, another position, and I very much am not a fan of the whole process involved with... Uh, um, you know, getting a job, mainly because I've never had very much luck with it. And, I mean, when you talk to most people, they're basically the same way. Yeah, of course, they're not going to have much luck either because generally it's a very low percentage of times that you actually get responses back to job offers or applications. But... 
uh, since everyone's the hero of their own story, it feels like it happens way more often to me. And I just hate the process. It's, you know, using flower language, almost lying, and you're just like, eh, we both know what this is. Why do we need to beat around the bush of this? Or do this silly little dance when we all know the deal. 138. But, uh, yeah, we this this is the um, road route. I'm going to put us here and just see if that's... Well, no, I saw the other side. So I think we're around there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if this will give me Point Labelle. All right. Let's zoom in and look for Point Labelle. Yeah, Point Labelle. So we're like right around there. Maybe there. But if I don't get it, that's okay. You know, it'll be a little bum, but honestly, what I'm doing as far as work now, pretty good. So, we'll see how that goes. Ooh, did pretty well. I like that. I like that placement. That's a very green wall. A lot of pine trees. I think we're back in uh, the Alps. Um... Anything else? Let's see. I, I, I came into this with so much, and now my brain is not working, or at least cooperating. I'm going to put us down here. <clears throat> here we go. Bucharest? Eh, that's not Bucharest. Um, baking thing's going to happen this week. Uh the end well, uh, later today that's the sentence i couldn't say um blitzing through that i'm more than halfway through this book by now and i'm trying to think of back when i actually started doing this thing and it's got to have been a year or close to it at this point okay i don't know what these coat of arms are i got salzburg Rodstadt and Graz. Let's see. Salzburg. That's over here. The A10. So we are in um, Austria, I believe. Although I'm not seeing an A10 anywhere. 99 to 320? see those either. I'm going to put us like there. Uh, it's part of my book. <clears throat> I believe it's called A Concise History of Spain, mainly because I never really talked too much about Spain in any of the history books I had. And the uh, this apparently is a whole series. I don't know how many actual um countries they have concise histories of, but hopefully if this turns out interesting and holds my attention, I'll be looking at a bunch of other countries because I kind of feel like learning about countries I had not heard about in uh, school at any point. If I'm thinking about what's going to be the next country, I don't know. Um, i got to see what's available and try to look for a country that, you know, I mean, yeah, Spain's Europe. If I'm going to look for something Europe, let's see here. It wouldn't be this much just because I've heard so much about it. Maybe like a Luxembourg or a Liechtenstein just because what's the deal with those tiny places? Maybe something like a Ukraine or a Belarus or somewhere like a Serbia, maybe even Turkey. Just something that's not the U.S. Could do Mexico. I don't know. I gotta see what's available. But I'm kind of excited for it. This is South America. 
I believe. Let's go this way. I want to see if... Let's see. No, this is Turkey. Put us here. Uh, um, I was planning, but I got sidetracked by other things of wondering if I should mess around with this Oaxaca book and doing videos on cooking that stuff, but I don't know yet. I need to think about it. There's a lot of special ingredients and sometimes tools I need that are going to be kind of hard to find. But, sorry, I had to reach for something. But I like to try it. Oh, Hawken food is interesting. I mean, it's a lot of like, uh, at least with this cookbook, there's thing. There's even a recipe for, I think it's crickets. There's one for like ox stomach, I believe, maybe pig's feet. It's, it's more of the uh, underused parts of animals. Uh, like there's a recipe for a dip that is made completely out of, um, I guess pig fat. I mean, it could be like chicharrones. I think you fry it and then you mash it and make it into a paste. That seems interesting. I gotta pick a place. I'm I'm looking for Hastani, but like my brain is not paying attention to this. Hastani. Sorry, one one sec. I gotta cough. Okay, sorry. I'm going to put us near Yogg's at just to have a thing. But I have this cookbook and I want to do a few more things with it. At least do moles because moles are fun. That's an interesting sentence I thought I never would have said 15 years ago. Moles are fun. Um, the anything. Oh, I'm just looking outside at the dumpster. Sorry, one sec. Yeah, the uh, bear dumpster. It's been probably a good three weeks. And there had maybe even four and there had been no bears. But now there's bears. Like there are a lot of trash bags that look right now that are being pulled out of the dumpster. Apparently last night that bear went to town so it's uh alcohol.cz so if this is how it here is here at least in the border with uh the u.s and canada oh excuse me this is a duty-free shop next to a border but i mean it's in check at least Prav Ovosne. I believe Ovosne could be the name. Prava Uz Oroku. Maybe. I'd have to talk to my Czech friend and see if I got that right. I do see a sign. This looks to be parking. Here's a sign. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, this exit 41. I don't think that's the actual highway sign yet. I need to find that because it'll tell me very important information. Like, we're heading to Prague. I believe that's what Prague on the one. And the one isn't showing up here. E50 is, though. E65. So... I think maybe what we're doing is heading towards the 111. Um, I thought we were going to be heading south because the E50 and 65 are paired off here, but I'm not seeing it. No, we're down right, right here. There's the 111. And there's Sternberg. Or McGarrett Sternberg. I wonder if it'll actually say the... Uh, 
exit number. I don't see it, but I'm going to put us here. E50 is the one. All right. That's all I needed. Let me see the uh, exit. Are we going to be near? Well, a bridge just went over the road. And how many places does that happen? That's under. That's over. So maybe it's this one. Is there a lake? Bitney Ribbick? It doesn't look like a lake over there. It could be over there. What is this car? I need to go back. I'm curious. Boxing, huh? Lucerna Hall. December 30th, 2018. I that that can't because it's it's winter and this is not winter weather. Oh, I ran out of time. That was way faster than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Very high score. That's cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope your weekend is gonna be great. Your week was bad, now it's over. Go enjoy your weekend, you have my blessing. I'm going to go try to do the same. And I'll see you here next weekend. Not weekend, next week. So, till then folks. I'll see you later. Goodbye.